Coach, what about the special teams? Are you expecting uh, big changes there? And uh, uh, you know, when in spring practice and then transferring over to the I, I would say not big changes, um, but um, you know, there's two units we've identified: our punt return and our kickoff return units that we we see a lot of room for improvement in. So we're going to um, really, when we dive into those areas, um, you know, we tweak some things, maybe simplify it a little bit. Um, just like offense and defense, when we go to special teams, there's a fundamental aspect to that. So even today, when we start out with the punt team, we start out, you know, kind of broken up into segments to teach the fundamentals of that before we come together. And we'll take that same approach to punt return and kickoff return um, as we go through. And, and kicking with the uh, place kicker. Well, TJ. Um, we'll start out first, um, but we have John Long and Kevin Avascu also. So that competition will go on um, during, during spring practice, and then when spring ends, and we go into the summer, and AJ Fox joins us uh, um, for our place kicking. Then that competition will continue through through training camp. Not to belabor the Ohio State thing, but some coaches talk about, <coughs> like I think Coach Trestle talks about Michigan every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you not believe in <coughs> pointing for a particular opponent? Or well, if you were in our locker room, we talk about a certain opponent every day. <laughs> I just don't need to wear a T-shirt to to uh, um, to uh, magnify that. You didn't go to the Kent Akron basketball game at Kent, did you? At Kent, no. I went to the one in the uh, queue. Yeah. yeah. The so, so I heard. The the well, they have it, and they have the right to 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 do what they want with it. Yes, they earned it. Well, Coach Childress is coming in here next weekend to speak at our clinic. And uh, um, so, you know, I talked to Bill Callahan, I know, you know, during the off season in, in, uh, in February um, when I was uh, involved in a couple of searches. You know, I, I had someone I thought he was connected with, so I got his, his opinion on somebody. I, I talked with Dan McCarney quite a bit. He's the head coach in North Texas. So a lot of us, I talked to Coach Alvarez two nights ago. And um, so a lot of us have stayed connected. When you... When you accomplish what was accomplished there, you know that that takes a lot of energy and a lot of work. But a lot of guys all working for the same brand, a lot of guys working on the same page, and um, so there's you, you, in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Same thing we're putting into our program here, and we expect the same results as we continue to build it. Did you talk to Alvarez a lot during last season? I did. I did. Um, I, I lean on Coach Alvarez quite a bit, and I lean on Dick Tomey quite a bit. So I'd say during the course of the season last year, I talked to those two the most. Um, and, uh, you know, and Coach Alvarez could certainly relate on some of the things we went through last year. And is it? Um, do you, uh, you know, you take lessons from last year that you carry into this year, or once you start practice today, is that kind of ancient history? Well, I think you take lessons every day. And, um, you know, as I tell our team, it's the same for our coaching staff. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. You're never staying the same. And uh, so, uh, and that's what we're trying to do. When we leave the field today, um, you know, some some guys on our team will have gotten better. Some guys won't. When we go back on Friday, I expect continue to improve, continuous improvement. And the same for our coaching staff. Just like the players have 15 days, the coaching staff has 15 days, and we can't miss a beat on any of those days. Um, and our preparation, and 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 how we're going to um, approach our meetings, how you're going to approach your periods in practice, how we're going to approach our scripts to put our players in the best position to learn and be successful. You also had a, uh, <clears throat> out of your control, a schedule shuffle mm -hmm. that left you with, you know, Mac division game yeah. in week number two. What about that? Well, that's just the way it goes, and we'll prepare for that and, and um, in earnest once we finish our first game. And um, it's something that was done. And, you know, we, we certainly, um, uh, Tom and I were involved in that decision, and we thought it was uh, okay to do. And uh, I think it would be great for our fans, quite frankly, for us to be playing a conference opponent second week of the season, uh, an opponent they recognize, and hopefully an opponent they'll come out and, and really um, be behind the zips for in, in our first home game. But we certainly have a lot of things to accomplish before we can um, earmark any opponent. Uh, we're just anxious to get back on the field this afternoon and, 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 and carry over, um, like I said, what we've done in the off season here and you know, hopefully improve it on a, on a consistent basis for the next, I guess it would be 24 days. We have you know, 15 practices in 24 days, I believe it is. Uh, 
Out of all the players that uh, did not play last year, the guys who redshirted, the transfers, the kids that are not eligible, are there two or three that you're excited about potential? Uh, well, I, I um, certainly from, from our practices in the fall, um, you know, on, on the offensive side of the ball, um, we're, we're hopeful that Marquello Sewell and Juwan Chisholm can be guys that um, can step up and really provide us with some great help here. Um, from our practices last spring, we really thought Broderick Alexander was a guy that would have been in the mix at running back last year. Um, so those three we kind of know quite a bit about um, as we go through. So we're excited about, about them. Um, you know, as they go through. Now, Michael Leo was one that we really were high on. Now, he has an injury, so he won't go through spring practice. He got injured the last week of the fall, but he'll be back in earnest, you know, for August, you know, for our offensive line. And then when we get to um, the defensive side of the ball, um, Oren Wilson, you know, redshirted last, last year for us. And now Oren will be limited some during spring practice because he had a, a, a surgical procedure done in October. Um, so he'll do most everything, but not 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 some scrimmage situations. We'll keep him out of that. And so I'm anxious to see Oren, and um, but you know you're anxious to see the growth of some players. I'm anxious to see now we've had uh, Nico Capone in the weight room now. He's been a full you know you know off season with us on offense. You've seen a Pat McCluskey, who just came in last summer, <clears throat> have a full off season with us. And then a couple of guys that we redshirt, like an LT Smith and a Jamar Williams. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm anxious to see how they do because they got a chance to redshirt and uh, and develop and put some weight on. And you know, I think it's an exciting time for our team. Exciting time for guys that maybe you're looking to uh, get their opportunities here. Um, and um, I know it's an exciting time for our staff. You know, it's 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 um, you know, baseball has spring training, a different kind of aspect of it. And there's always an enthusiasm that goes on reporting the first day of spring training, and there's a certain enthusiasm that goes around the country. And certainly here at Akron for the first day of spring practice. I think how many, how many true freshmen did you play last year? I believe it was nine. nine. Did you anticipate yeah. that being more? I, I think we're going to be a, certainly in a, a, another year of playing a good bit of freshmen. You might not have to put them in, in the same kind of roles we put some guys in last year. Um, you know, we had some guys start as true freshmen. And we might not have as many in those roles next fall, but we're going to have. Um, until our numbers and our depth and the program has uh, moved through several years, we're going to have some guys um, that will play as freshmen, maybe more so now than they were in year year four. Okay, so I, you tell guys you play as a freshman because uh, talent talent meets opportunity, and you know what to do. Okay, that's how you play as a true freshman in the fall. And I think right now we have more opportunities than maybe we'll have um, in several years from now. You're 39? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just wondering how you've convinced him that, uh, to do this rebuilding thing. All over again. Oh, I think Kev Kevin has um, – uh, Kevin loves to coach, and he loves to work with young people. And I think sometimes also when you get in the – not in the stage of his career because he's got a lot of time left, but it's also who you're going to work with every day. Right? And are you going to be around people to share the same goals and same values as you? And I think he sees that in our program. And is excited about it, and um, um, you know, energized to be here. And he's been terrific. And um, I'm anxious. I know he's anxious to get on the field here this afternoon with the guys. If there was one trait about him mm -hmm. that stands out. Would you, could you well, it's, it's going to be a con you know, he's a is two. I mean, consistency would be one. Because I've been through um, been through it with Kevin, been through seasons with him. You know what you're going to get on an everyday basis when he comes through the door. And when things go right, you know what you're going to get. When things have to be fixed, you don't know. You know what you're going to get. And um, and I just think he's a great teacher um, of values and of football, which are both very important. Uh, Coach, you know, I appreciate you coming today. Hope to see you at practice anytime. And and to go Zips. <laughs>